Here is a 1950s bedroom set. Do you ever get something for free off Marketplace and then when you get it home you think to yourself, why did I do that? After a close inspection, I discovered that it wasn't solid wood. The wood that is there is not in the best condition and both pieces had been slathered inside and outside with a colour that I could only describe as snowman's bones. Hello and welcome to another video. You came back for more. So I decided not to give up on this piece. When I went to collect the items, the lady told me that she had quite a bit of interest. Obviously the items were free of charge. But she told me that she chose my name from all of the people because McCluskey is her maiden name. So her father was McCluskey and these belonged to him in the 1950s. So she said it felt nice that the items were going to somebody else named McCluskey to start a new life. So I couldn't give up on them. So here I begin to strip the first of many coats of white paint. The hardware was pretty dingy looking with the patina but I knew that barkeeper's friend would work its magic on it. As you can see, the barkeeper's friend never lets me down. I love these brass handles. I wanted to add some texture to the front of the drawers. I thought that would make them look a little bit more interesting. So I used lots and lots of lolly sticks 
and glued them to the draw fronts in a herringbone pattern. So I bought this really useful cutting tool from Amazon. It was great for cutting at 90 degrees but you can also cut at different angles as well so it's really handy. Sometimes the little bits would fly all over the room when you cut the ends off and my mischievous little cocker spaniel puppy just thought this was amazing and he was running off with them left, right and centre. As you can see it's a very therapeutic job and you can sit there with your Udi on, listen to music and just enjoy yourself having a crafty afternoon. There's lots of ways you can cut the overhang of the, the sticks off. You could use a saw, you could use a router, um, but I decided to just go for a chisel. I just used normal wood filler to fill in the cracks and then just popped it to one side and left it to dry overnight. Now it's the perfect time to take a break with Charlie and Sully, the Beach Boys. The Clouds of Doom That's enough now boys, let's get back to work. So here I'm just sanding off the excess of the wood filler and it's revealing that lovely herringbone pattern. I think the original owner used something to attach these two pieces together and when it was removed it must have damaged the top of the surface. So I just needed to add some wood filler and sand that back down so it was nice and level.
I decided to just put one handle on each draw front instead of the two handles. That meant I could then use the spare handles on the other cabinet and the pieces would match nicely. So I'm aware this colour is not for everyone but I thought we need to go the polar opposite of the previous colour which was Snowman's Bones. This colour is called Plum Pudding by French Eek. It's from the Lazy Range. So it's like a rich purple. I was really impressed with this paint by the Lazy Range. It's water based, it's self priming, self sealing and it also has self leveling properties um, which minimises the brush strokes. So to contrast the purple, I also used blackjack. I used a detail brush and some metallic acrylic gold paint and I picked out all of the details with the gold against the black. and frog tape just wonderful. For the little cabinet, just out of curiosity I decided to use a primer and stain blocker before using the French cheek paint. The crazy thing is, on the piece that I primed, I had to use three coats of paint and on the piece that I didn't prime I only had to do two coats of paint. Now it's time to fit the hardware back into place and apply the fancy handles to the little cabinet. When I'm working this gorgeous little boy likes to come over and he loves it when you talk to him. He listens intently to every single thing that you say. I think he's listening for key words such as walkies, treats, shall we go to the beach and he, he cocks his head at each little word. I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching 
and if you enjoyed the video please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Please check out my other videos if you enjoy furniture, restoration and refurbishments. Thank you once again and I hope you enjoy the final results.